Hey buddy, it's Victor. It's time to another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Tuesday, Mosh Pit. We did have another video across 3,000 likes. We're now only one away. Can we do it? Can we do it? Well, it's probably not going to be till Wednesday because I have to pre-record the next couple of days because I have something coming up that I just have to pre-record for. But we're most definitely going to be making it by this Sunday, which is when I'm going to be tentatively scheduling the TM Trainer Run, which I'm looking forward to. I know a lot of people are as well. And thank you for making it possible. Here is your cat of the day, picture of the day, catcher of the day. I'm not I'm not sure how to even say it. Submitted here by Sensei Stranger E. Title thread was morning watch time. And then they also said he's become kind of a habit of is falling asleep to Sin's videos and then following and then the following morning, Nico, my old boy, joins me in Snuggles and Isaac videos. And uh, he looks Nico looks very mad at the beginning, but then like falls asleep. I don't know how much time has elapsed since that picture was taken and when Nico went to went to sleep, but He's, he's all right. He's an all right looking old chap. Oh, man. Seat day is going to be or eight. Uh, Mick 48. It's my favorite uh, McDonald's order. So we're starting off with uh, we're starting off with the compost along with Robo Baby 2.0, which is not great. Uh, neither is our tears rate or damage or shot speeds, much like yesterday's uh, <laughs> yesterday's run, man. Yesterday's run was rough. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it was a it was a struggle bus that, for a while, didn't look like a struggle bus. It was almost like a struggle bus that like that wasn't ready to be called a struggle bus yet. Like there were times where it didn't feel like one, um, but definitely like had all the familiar symptoms of a of a struggle bus. And then ultimately, like after getting zero damage upgrades for the entire run, it definitely was like a full blown struggle bus at the end. Um, so, you know, hopefully today is not going to mirror what we saw yesterday, but who knows? Who knows? Like I said, there's there are people in the mosh pit who enjoy those type of runs. Um, I wish I could make them more entertaining for people. Um, you know, I don't make all the perfect decisions or anything like that, but we do just enough to win, and that's really all the only thing that I care about. Well, that's not, the, that's not true. I also want to make sure the videos are entertaining for people. Some people are going to like the runs that are slow. Some people aren't. It's just inevitable. We talk about it. We've circled this wagon many, many times. Um, wow, this is a huge. This is this is a non-XL floor, right? Game like we, we're making sure that we we loaded up the right floor here, because good lord, this is the size of like a necropolis size level here. Let me go ahead and shoot this black poop just so I can get out of this room here. Now, thankfully speaking, for yesterday's video, I mean the combination of the Trinity Shield plus the 120 volt was huge. But something else that I, like I didn't give enough credit to was definitely Sharp Straw. Um, sharp straw without sharp straw. I don't think yesterday's run happens the way it did So we do get a movement speed upgrade to start off with which is fine um, As long as that's not the only type of upgrade that we get for the rest of this run Then I will allow it for now Secret room. I'm almost a hundred percent sure it's there, but with only two bombs I want to make absolutely sure and this definitely confirms what I uh, was not sure about This is like a 90% wall right here, so we'll come back to that in a moment I mean, mom's bra. It's, it's better than, it's better than compost. I guess that's that's the nicest thing I can say about it. Um, and I'm almost willing to go back into the curse room to bomb this stone chest here. Okay, we got our bomb back. It only costs us a heart, so that's fine. And we're leaving here with a soul heart, so that's okay. Uh, was there anything in the shop that we needed? No. Fatic, no. That. I will use a bomb to get into this poop pile here. Maybe we can get the petrified poop. We do have Merconium, which is the reason why we're seeing so much black poop around here, but most of the time, that's not going to matter. Now, like, the only benefit to, to Merconium is that, like, you do have a chance of getting a black heart, but I've never seen them happen, like, ever. So that would be a definite first. Uh, Mom's bra is going to is basically it's is it going to fear everything or freeze everything? It petrifies everything for four seconds. Again, kind of a nothing burger item, but uh, yeah. Like going on to last week's question of the episode, what is your take on metronome? This is an item that a lot of people seem to not use a whole lot. And, you know, I tried to show it off the best I could in that greed run. Um, and it is definitely an item that can produce some pretty amazing results. 
uh, but also can troll quite hard and, and oftentimes do nothing. Uh, the most upvoted comment came in from Grant Daily 9662 who said, Metronome is such a meh item in my opinion. It has a fun effect with getting a lot of item ability activated activations, but the RNG f with it for things that could damage you or do nothing aren't worth it, um, IMO, or detriment if you were playing either lost or tainted lost if you get damaged by a self-damaging ability. And yeah, I would never, ever, ever, ever recommend using metronome on the lost or tainted lost. Do not do that. Um, and uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't recommend ever saying that in the first place. But I know what, I know what Grant is saying though. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, there's there are certain times where metronome can really shine. Other times where it can't. Uh, but do not use it on a one hit, on a one hit character. Don't just don't just don't do it. Second most up, uh, a vote of comment came in from Fern the Frost, who said, I don't play with luck because I'm not lucky. I'm, I'm right there with you on that one, Fern. And last but not least, the third most up vote of comment came in from Ayuri19961, who said, better than nothing, but kind of meh. And I, I don't know. I, I was surprised that so many people were, were so, like, nonchalant about Metronome because it had a pretty big impact on that greed run. I mean, yes, most of the time it's not going to do anything for you, but... The thing is, is that like you get like some pretty exciting free items out of nowhere. And I mean out of absolute nowhere, which is always a lot of fun. Um, whenever you get the quarter or whenever you get the uh, whenever you get like a, you know, like a like a HP upgrade or like you get raw liver or something like that. I mean, that's free items that you're that you're basically just given for the cost of a two cost space bar item like activation. That's huge. Gonna freeze Ragman here just because I'm just gonna let Robo Baby 2.0 kind of do his thing. But obviously, like we're looking at like the jackpot situation, right? Of getting of getting really good passive HP upgrades for basically nothing. You know, you can't look at all that. Like if you play slot machines, you can't just look at somebody's big wins and be like, oh man, I want to play the slots. Slots are great and then expect to get a big win all the time. It's not gonna happen. But realistically speaking, more oftentimes than not, it's a net positive to use metronome. And that's what I that's what I try to display every time we get the item. You know, again, it's not a perfect item, and you're not always going to have incre incredible results using it. But I think the idea there is that showing that it can be very, very strong is enough to, you know, get people interested in using it a little bit more. I'm stuck. I'm trying to pay attention to two things at once here. Looking at where Isaac is going, but also trying to finagle RoboBaby 2.0. Also, where is our item room? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Heard there are item rooms somewhere? And man, oh man, what I wouldn't give for wire coat hanger out of one of these two stone chests. Now, I am I normally would use a bomb here, but we only have two bombs here on this floor, obviously. So conserving them is kind of paramount right now. We got a lot of money and a lot of HP, actually. Almost enough HP to say maybe have a curse room play. Maybe, maybe, maybe. A curse room, I mean sacrifice room because we do have a sun card as well, which would heal us all the way. Uh, but again, that's completely predicated on us getting a sacrifice room in this floor, which is not guaranteed right now. And uh, we still have not found our item room or the shop. All right. Okay, well, we saved ourselves a key and there's not a sacrifice room, unfortunately. So now what we have to do is we go back, we get the strength card, and we can use that for a devil deal and hope that we get a non-trash devil deal. Now, prove me wrong over the last couple of days, Stanley. This is, now's your time. We do get a tears upgrade here, which does have a minimal, well, not minimal, but a a fair bit of knockback behind it. But the, the effect of Pisces is not really worth it at 2.68 tears per second. Um, we want something a little bit more substantial than that in terms of a tears upgrade. A green Larry is actually kind of dangerous, so I'm glad that we were able to freeze him and kill him with Robo Baby 2.0. And uh, we can take out the rest of Grub here. Get another tiers up and shot speed, so that's actually a huge upgrade for us. And I am not going through what we did yesterday. I will take my shadow. My shadow is not a terrible item. Um, it does give us a little bit of offensive benefit if the dark shades, if the dark grubs, I should say, can do stuff. Um, but most of the time, it's not going to matter to So we have seen it do some good things. We'll take mom's key here. It's a good upgrade for us. 
And uh, yeah, we'll leave with the sun card. Not really going to re-roll anything else because there's no donation machine. There's no source of income here. We'll head on. Now, one item that definitely deserved a little bit more of a pause for consideration was Mom's Bracelet. Um, given the fact of our low damage that we've got, you could definitely make an argument that taking Mom's Bracelet would have been a good move, especially because we could get the Mom Transformation and get the Butt Knife. Um, I could definitely... I can see that being an argument that one would make. Um, I just don't think that... It's going to be something that we're going to hold on to that long. And while, yes, the mom transformation is, it does give you a mom's knife that is admittedly very clunky and usually useless to use, but it does help somewhat. I don't think it's worth, I don't think it's worth 10 cents in the early game in a run where we're desperate to get some kind of anything from the store. This was basically this was basically something we had to do given the fact that we have mom's key but not for the cost of a soul heart so there's the dark grubs that we're just kind of letting kind of go off on their own and they do deal a decent amount of damage to everything we saw it completely wreck um who was it It was blighted ovum in one run or, or chad or someone we had a really fun synergy with the unicorn stump and and my shadow and it made for a really hilarious uh, hilariously overpowered combo where we essentially could just spawn infinite grub, infinite dark grubs on things and uh, just let them go to town. I know, I know. They changed Kane's other eye. I know. I'm happy for it. I'm, a, I'm super stoked about that. Problem is that it shoots in random directions and it's usually not the direction I want it to shoot in. And on top of all that, it likes to shoot bombs. And it's just generally not something that I enjoy. Um, I'd much prefer to be in control of my outgoing DPS. That sort of thing. Now, if we get flying, we would be able to use my shadow a little bit more effectively here. You're seeing Pisces with a knockback. Man, this is... Again, we're in a situation like we were yesterday where... You know, if your tears rate is is eclipsing your damage, uh, you're probably in a bad, bad spot, which we definitely are right now. You're going to spawn a cube on the last one. I mean, I guess I'll take the free soul heart if we do get a nickel or not. Oh. These have been rough. Chops and devil deals, man. I'm telling you, there's when I when I start mentioning stuff like that, people people notice it. But you know, I never noticed like how bad shops have been lately until Zinvicta said something about it. Comment from a recent stream, and it's like, yeah, it's it's really strange how it's feast or famine on shops and devil deals a lot of the times. You can just do that, and Robo Baby is just gonna take out the trash. Unfortunately, there's no way I can get shade into uh, my shadow into a good position here to consistently, constantly spawn things on uh, Bighorn. But Nose Goblin's definitely going to help out a lot for DPS. We go get a couple of grubs there. Oh wow, there is a little bit of a, a gap there. Huh. Get marrow. It's just just super great. It's just really great.
need you to work with me here, game. I don't think I can take another struggle bus run in a row here. And we are uh, starting starting to smell a little struggle bussy in here. I'm gonna say right now, it's got all the familiar symptoms of a struggle bus. Not, I'm not just saying it just to say it. I mean, if we can get some some damage going here or something. That'd be real nice. Cause uh, right now, right now you ain't impressing me. I would love to see the, sh the dark grubs actually persist through rooms. I think that would be nice. Um, we can get to the stars room or the item room, first room for half price. So I'll just go and do that right now. Look, I get it. Blood puppy, it deals damage. We need damage. I get it. The thing is, try dealing with blood puppy with this damage. No, thank you. I I think that we're better off without doing that. I truly believe that we are better off without that. Yeah, we're doing this. My grub versus your grubs game. The bomb. Ah, Pro bomb. Should have should have known better. Okay, we got a champion belt. It's something. Anything right now is is welcome welcome damage. I mean, anything. I see it's rooms like this where I wish that we could keep our dark grubs. They just kind of persist like flies until they're like, you know, expired. Let me fistula. Oh, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Maw of the Void, I'll absolutely, thankfully take that. Let's keep Dad's coin. You talk about items that definitely need to, again, be in the topic of conversation for, for changing and buffing for the better, or just like outright removal of the game. Let's talk about Dad's coin. I'm glad that they attached a range upgrade to it and everything, but man, it is just a bummer to see whenever you don't need range or really need it at all. I mean, there are times where like a luck upgrade could be beneficial. Um, you know, going to positive luck would definitely be a good thing for us. But I think I speak for us all when saying that it's not exactly the most exciting item to see at any given moment in time. Maw of the Void, on the other hand. Boy, howdy. Now we're rocking and rolling. We've got some offensive prowess here. Damage is still not great, but it's better with Mom's ring that we got out of this room. We're on our way up. I think we have successfully gotten rid of the struggle bus trend here for today, I hope. Anyway. Movement speed upgrade, absolutely worth bombing for. Still going to come up about two cents short. A gish fight, which is, again, not ideal. I'd almost rather... Actually, you know what? I'd rather see Dad's coin than, than gish. At least I know I'm getting, like, something for it, like a stat upgrade. You know, you can't blame little Gish. Little Gish is a is a bro. He does his job very well. It just he doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It's more of like a crowd control familiar. That's about the nicest thing I'll say about him. He looks cool. Black and yellow always looks really really dope. That's the color scheme, I think. Not gonna waste a soul heart. You're just simply looking for 
item room. Unbelievably, we still have a chance of making boss rush if we're if we're fast. I mean, we got to be real fast here. Another thing that is a little bit of a downside with Gish is that it covers up champions. So, like, if there's a black champion in here, one, one of the ones that explode, it's almost impossible to tell if they've been slowed by little Gish. You have to be cautious about that. Now, boss rush is pretty much dead. Unless we get super lucky and get an Emperor card or something like that. But we can't skip an item room, unfortunately. Yeah, I, it's better than Mom's bra, I guess. If anything, it gives us one towards the transformation for Bookworm. The wrong way, isn't it? I think. Yeah, it's the right way. There's no chance, no chance in hell that we make boss rush. I'm still going to try, though. I'll never not try. That's the thing with me. We would have to go in the exact right way and find the full card in order to have this boss rush. It's, it's going to be a shot in the dark. But we're going to try our best. Going to try our damnedest. The planetarium for some reason. I'll take, but we will take it later. Making a mad dash here for the boss. Boney came from uh, Book of the Dead, by the way. In case you're curious. Gotta get a little aggressive. Gotta get a little reckless here. Ah, oh, we, we actually made it. That's that's pretty impressive considering where we were at the end of that last floor. Got to admit pretty impressive. And I am going to take both of these. Get Abadab Ding Dong and the Mark which is going to give us two or three for Leviathan. No, it is going to give us Leviathan. That's pretty huge, and yeah, I'll take the bounty. Wow, I did not expect us to get to get boss rush. We made a mad dash there, and if we didn't have Maw of the Void, that doesn't happen. Straight up, just does not happen. That's really impressive. We get Uranus as well, even though Venus is really strong. Um, Uranus is just, it's just stronger, especially with Maw of the Void. We got the frozen Maw. Mr. Manuel. Now the body, we can definitely do some some sacrifice room shenanigans here. Cards, baby. Sure, ace of spades, kind of whatever. Don't really need keys anymore. I mean, we do, we do, but we don't. Perfect time for the quarter, I will say. If anything, the Ace of Spades can at least just destroy an entire room for us. Now we're cooking. Now we have, we have completely done a 180 on this run and reversed that struggle bus status. And now we're looking to, we're looking to get some, we can get some payback here. Now, we're not overly dominant, of course. Our stats are still not phenomenal here. 
Um, seven point or eight point five seven damage is not not great, but it's just the it's the method that we are dealing our damage, which is important. Which in this case, of course, is Maw of the Void. Maw of the Void is uh, very, very, very strong. It's very good at applying multiple stacks of a tier effect in a very rapid succession just based on its constant uh application nature my favorite college chemistry course by the way i didn't take chemistry in college never been to college yeah it was spelled college um only half true i do not have spell college I can tell if the bony blew up and hurt us or if we got hit by Mega Maw there, but. Yo, again, Maw the Void. Showing why it's the king of applying tier effects here. Even with substandard damage here, we're looking mighty strong. Not strong enough for me to take experimental treatment, mind you, but we're still looking mighty strong. Wouldn't mind getting a sacrifice room, but if it doesn't happen, it just doesn't happen. Seek room's probably there. Oh, wow. It's not there. It's gotta be here. Give me those keys. Turn my bony into a key too, and you, honestly, that's probably how he wanted to go out anyway. I'm happy to oblige and give him his, his lifelong dream of becoming a key. It was my honor, bony. know how this or how that diglet stayed alive for so long unfortunately i don't think that kills with uranus count towards book of the dead sac room we haven't seen a single sac room in this entire run but what is nice about uranus is that it does cancel out all the uh, death rattles I was there that that black champion did not explode on death. They usually do. Damn, Boney said poof to that eye laser over there. Big time play, son. Get a devil deal. Yeah, I mean, backstabber. We could, in theory, get down to Dark Prince's Crown territory, but we can't take Backstabber. Because that would leave us with one and a half hearts. Not willing to do it. Not will I'm not going to take anything there. It's too late, Stanley. Another reason being is because if we do happen to get a sacrifice room on this floor, if I were to if I were to take that if I were to take that devil deal, it would automatically remove the chance of us ever playing that sacrifice room and maybe sneaking a victory lap out of this run. That's another another reason why I didn't want to take that. Even though backstabber, of course, is S tier. Um, in my opinion, I'd rather I'd much rather try to go for a victory lap here. But we might we might could sneak a greed run. Depending on how well this the rest of this run goes. Kinda just depends on if we end up 
pushing through or not. I'm surprised there wasn't a tinted rock in that last room. Usually there is. We got plenty of bombs, so let's bomb these blue fires. Maybe get a soul heart or two. Or none. Or one. Me? Oh, a fly right there. Good. Perfect example of how being able to react before the enemies can get a chance to do anything is the best way to take down these late game rooms. Nice freeze there by fear. The great freeze by Abba Dabba Ding Dong. And the important thing is we got him out of this phase here. Not worth getting hit twice for, but you know, using Maw of the Void as our primary source of damage also also comes with risks. And we're definitely being risky with our play here. But that being said, Maw of the Void, still goaded, still great. Unlike this chest. The reason why I'm not taking Zodiac is because it could give us Taurus, and even though our movement speed is maxed, I don't like Taurus. Even though I am a Taurus myself. Another reason why I'm getting sort of up close and personal, as you can see here, is because I want to try to get some more value out of uh, my shadow, and we've gone the wrong direction. All right. All right. Be careful of the dark bonies that taking spawns. We're doing this all with 3.36, 3.66 tiers, which is really not all that great. Or late game build anyway but as it shows you know just how good maw the void is and still is and will always be until they nerf it again Maw the void can seriously carry with what i would consider to be suboptimal stats in most cases in most cases as long as you have the mobility and the and you know enough health to take a shot here and there you're going to be fine with maw the void here we go Try to keep Blue Baby guessing here. Yeah, there we go. Nice little, nice little cheeky win. It was uh, a little bit scary at the beginning there, looking like a struggle bus, but I'm glad we were able to recover there. Thanks to Maul the Void. And sure, we'll throw in a greed and run too. Why not? It's Tuesday. We got to get over that 3,000 likes this video here. Second seed. I'm just going to read it phonetically. Uh, Juliet, Alpha, Papa, Sierra, Tango, Charlie, Seven, Charlie. You might want to check the... Um, I want to check that filter there, Ed, a little bit. I've seen more than a few seeds that if read out... If read out, would be uh, considered not okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Bob, Brain here with Bob's Rotten Head. You've got... We have great tiers and good damage to start with, but man, this is a bummer and a half in terms of our shot speed. 
Once again, our shot speed just being super bad. Our baby's okay here. You gotta check for the gotta check for the secret room over him, you know. Okay. Glad we did. The object here is to get rid of Bob's brain as fast as possible. These waves, because obviously we don't want them exploding on us. The problem here, other other than our horrendous shot speed, is going to be the fact that we don't have a lot of HP for our devil deal. And that's kind of the downside of playing as Eden and, and Greed, is that you don't know what your starting HP is going to be. You don't know what anything's going to be. No point of playing Eden. But in this case, we need to get... We would have to be forced to get something that gives us an HP upgrade or get a soul heart in the, in the shop in order for us to even consider taking a devil deal. And that costs resources, which is very limited in greed mode. Greed mode. Um, very quick, quick on the draw there with Bob's Rotten Head. Get monster out of here early makes things a lot easier for us. I think Bob's rotten head hit the barrel up there and not famine. I'm not sure what happened there. I didn't see any green smoke go off, so I'm guessing it hit something it shouldn't have. Oh boy, yeah, we're gonna have to roll here. is even more of a movement speed down but it is a damage up headless horseman is not who i wanted to see here thankfully what a hit by bob's brain though good lord now that was a big time play son and yeah let's just do it black judas at least if we're gonna if we're gonna be moving slow we're gonna be hitting hard um man we can get sharp key. That's the, that's all the keys that we need for this run. I don't think it's gonna happen. Not worth it. Now, the only thing that sucks is that we wasted. He essentially gave us a movement speed down for no reason with Fat on Mushroom because we turned into Black Judas anyway. Um, that being said, getting growth hormones here is very big. After Penny would be huge. Not, but we do get another 15 cents, which allows us to go into the item room before starting the ways, which is, again, huge. Friend Finder? I don't know if I've ever... No, we have had Friend Finder and Greed before. HP upgrades don't matter here for Black Judas because he can only get Soul Hearts, so there's no reason, and I mean no reason at all, to use money to buy a regular old HP upgrade where you can just buy Soul Hearts. Any much is something that we're definitely going to be looking for. Friend Finder? Gonna have to carry us to freedom here. And you might be, you might hear me tap the spacebar often because we have the bomb spewer. We're just kind of full sending it right now. Wow, yeah, we uh, we just we just pooped all over this this level. Okay, mini mush is definitely a go. Want movement speed. High price keys are very important here. We are almost certainly not going to be able to take a devil deal on this floor. Drag Mega's already dead. I don't even know what happened to him. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is gonna be a giant, giant mess and a half. I'm just gonna sit back and hope that our friends can take care of this. Then you see the, it's, God, friend fighter makes such a mess of everything. You just cannot see anything. We can't. We can't. As much as I would love to just YOLO it, we cannot. It is not worth the risk. And so we have we have we got a bunch of keys. We need to get soul hearts, obviously. Um, especially with vision becoming a very real problem. The coal is lump of huge. Eat it gives us a soul heart, but it doesn't solve most of our problems. We need to get a soul heart in here. We we it's soul heart a bust right now. You need a tears upgrade. And I'm just kind of relying on our friends here just to shield us. Don't know what hit me. bit nervous right now i'm not gonna lie there's if we had more hp i'd be feeling better about this but friend finders got me a little on edge right now i'm not gonna lie we don't one thing we don't need is damage right now what we need to yeah there we go that's what we need we just need soul hearts to show up in the shop the nine volt while it's quaint right now it's that is not my priority Got one of our bomb spewers. It's also very difficult to see where Isaac is with all this crap going on. You get above Gabriel or Uriel here. A blank rune and Awas. I think the chariot card is honestly pretty big for us, especially with Sack Dagger. We get some more money here that we can get some more soul hearts with. Definitely, definitely stoked about that. Oh, we don't even get put back in the devil deal. My, my bad. <laughs> uh, for sure that we do. Well, at least we'll, they'll give us a, cur a courtesy return to the devil deal, but uh, no, that was, that was too much effort. All right. Okay, Bloody Lust is bloody fantastic for us. And so is that, giving us another tears up here. But now we're not so reliant upon keeping our friends alive for our damage. We still want to do that though, because obviously they help they help shield against a lot of, uh, a lot of shots. Uh, we do get more, another soul heart just randomly, and I'm fine with that. Probably gonna be a big skip of a floor here for us. It's like there's nothing worth buying and there's nothing that we can re-roll with. So why waste any money on stuff that we're not going to need and not want? We don't want Thunder Thighs as that's just going to give us a movement speed down and that's just detrimental to the overall run for the cost of, or for the benefit of a movement speed down and one Soul Heart. No, thank you. Not for 15 cents. We could do so much more on a better floor with 15 cents than buy it and get a movement speed down and one Soul Heart. It's basically like getting like a 15 cent experimental treatment that you know is going to give you a movement speed down. Part of greed is part of the greed strategy 
and method is to know when to know when to spend your money and wise management resources. There's too many polycephalus in here. I'm not even gonna bother. I wouldn't say that we're at critical mass yet for friend finder, but we're getting close. Yeah, this is this is just a absolute royal rumble at this point. This is just a nightmare. I mean, Bob's brain between all the spiders flying around and friend finder. I don't even know what's going on anymore, man. Just trying to hold on. Okay, we got another blank item room or uh, another blank devil deal. Be stoked about that. But that's just that's just been the been the case, man. Devil deals have just been. Mostly trash. That's going to max out our movements, our uh, tears rate. And we get the fungi transformation. Looks very, very, very wrong on Black Judas. I'm not going to worry about school bag because we're most likely not going to get another space bar item that matters. Especially if we end up getting something like Jello. I guess we'll just stick with the soul heart for now. Lucky that Wrath didn't insta dunk a lot of our a lot of our friends here. Obviously the dream is getting the four and a half volt, but don't think that's gonna happen. It still could happen for sure, but not hopeful. Run friends. Something was preventing me from moving over here. I don't know what it was, but it was damaging me. What in the world? You got all four of the sins? This is just a this is just a royal rumble at this point. I'm down for it. I think we just load up here and head on down. Nope, if hands or butts about it. Get rid of this fire, because we know how much our friends love to walk on fire. Again, another really not great store here. Probably should have left on that half price soul heart just in case something bad happens. Magic Mush is definitely a nice one, but it's not really something that we truly need, need. Okay, no, you're done. There you go. Now the game is sending out all of, ex all of the explosive enemies to take care of our friends before greed. What 
which is fine. We're Black Judas. We've got we've got good damage. We're about to get Magic Mush, so we're not we're not wholly dependent on Friend Finder anymore. Thankfully, I don't even know which. I don't even know what we're fighting at this point. Which who's on our team and who's not? Too many angels. And there go all of our friends. Just as I predicted. Don't need nine lives. Uh, I mean, this really doesn't matter, but don't want King Baby. I'd like to roll one time. All right, so it's just mono a mono now. Black Judas versus uh, Ultra Greed. We do have an Alger's Rune, which I'm pretty stoked about. It's going to be really, really, really beneficial. Of course, our damage is out of control thanks to us having Magic Mush and, of course, being Black Judas. What a what a wacky, crazy run this was. This is a sub-20-minute greed run. Mostly due in part to Friend Finder, obviously. Don't really care about him getting adds one shot all of them anyway And you see me just using the range here of uh, of a lump of coal just so we can maximize the pain. And a little spider showing up out of nowhere. Pop the Alger's Rune just for the ultimate embarrassment here for Ultra Greed. And that is going to do it. So, man, oh man, oh man. What a... What a wacky, wild greed run that was, but we got the dub either way. And thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this extra special second run here on the channel. Today's question of the episode is going to be, has your opinion changed on Friend Finder or not? Post them in the comments down below. I know a lot of people don't like it because it creates a lot of visual doo-doo, but you can't deny how good it can be, especially with the hard carry potential there if you get the right friends in your team. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a great start to your Tuesday. And as always, see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Chronic Shadow, Troy Mason, and Relat01. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at Patreon dot com slash invicta